Hello everyone and welcome back to Air Up Military Collectibles. So in today's video, it's part two of my help looking for the Royal Ulster Rifles Corbin on information for the Royal Ulster Rifles Corbin. So I had a, I had a, um, a subscriber put a fantastic comment in the comment section um, and he asked me to do part two on the inside of the of the Corbin and stuff. So I said I would. So as you can see here, you know, it's a better lighting. So you can actually see the black square that is behind the cap badge. Um, so there was a few questions I asked. So that black square is to signify that they are rifles. It's got to do with tradition. It's got nothing to do with the battalion or the company or anything like that. It's just to do with tradition to say they're rifles. Uh, I was correct in relation to the hackle. The Pipers did not get it until 1947 and it seems to be later on towards uh, Korea when they returned from Korea that everyone started wearing the hackle um, there was a few other things the Queen's crown um, doesn't ever seem to have been changed it always seems to be the, 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 the King's crown they never seem to have them with the Queen's crown um, you can see here now that it's actually a, a very dark bottle green um, and he what what the viewer wants to know is they wanted to know what the inside of it looked like. Now I can't actually really tell with the light, but it's quilted. It's slightly quilted, not as heavily as some other ones. Uh, if I just turn off the camera one second because I'm using my hands, and uh, I'll turn it. So here we have it. I can't exactly turn it inside out because it's so well shaped. But there isn't a, a label there. I don't know if you can see this label. There you go, is the label. Um, I don't know if that will be able to date it. Um, there is a, whoops, a, a guard behind the badge that has been actually used to put the badge through it. I don't know if you see it there. And it is actually starting to go green just to show that there is a bit of a life or a bit of age to this. And as you can see here, there's a sweat mark here from being constantly used so that's the inside of the the carbon he said he might be able to date the actual carbon itself by the manufacturer of it so as you can see uh, it's shaped it's that's how it is this would just normally sit over your left eye so hopefully there's a bit more information to come on this beret he did um name two other regiments in that comment he named the royal and skill and fusiliers and the Royal Irish Fusiliers Corbins. I have an Enniskillens Fusiliers Corbin with the red triangle. I need to try and either locate one or make one up for the Irish Fusiliers because they had an interesting um, decoration, shall we say, behind their uh, cap badge. So there you go, just a quick little video uh, on a part two for more information on my Royal Ulster Rifles Corbin. So I hope you like what we provide here at Air at Military Collectibles. Please like. Please subscribe and please tune in for the next video. And as always, if you want to get in contact with the channel, there is an email at the top of the video in the description. And if you want to contribute to the channel, there's also an Amazon wish list there as well. So thank you very much.